Okay, so we're going to be looking at quite a useful little formula all to do with rounding up our parameters in our parameters box. So uh, an example, the example that I've got set up here is this ducting run. And I'm going to just edit this sketch here. And you can see I've got a point here, which is where my first hole is going to go in. But I need to pattern this evenly along all the way to the end here. Okay. Now, to do that, I obviously need to know that length so I'm going to put in a driven dimension there okay and then I need a, an actual sort of desired pitch in how many holes I want to go across there so I'm going to come up to my parameters box okay and I'm going to create a new parameter and I'm going to call it hole quantity okay now because it's a quantity it's not millimeters it's not yards feet inches whatever I need to make the unit type of this unit less so it just gives me a, a number okay my whole quantity needs to be this value divided by a desired pitch so let's specify that as a parameter desired pitch and this time my pitch I uh, I do want it to be say a millimeter so roughly every 150 mil I want a hole to be put in okay so going back to my whole quantity I'm going to put the equation in this needs to be divided by my this parameters desired pitch okay which as you can see gives me 8.5 holes okay now we can't have 8.5 holes okay it either needs to be 8 or it needs to be 9 okay so what we can do is we can do some rounding functions okay if I type round and then open brackets you'll see that I don't need to close it off the equation has gone black it will put the closed bracket in for me but you'll see this then goes up to 9 okay because it's rounding to the nearest 0.5 okay if I wanted it to always go down though so irrespective if it was 8.9 I still wanted it to always be the lower value I can type floor okay and then you'll see this will round down it will force it to go down however if I always wanted it to round up irrespective of the value so if it's 8.1 always go up I can type seal which is the first four letters of ceiling not the animal okay and you can see it goes to 9 great so we now have our whole quantity, but obviously this number divided by 150 mil to 8.5. So our desired pitch is no longer correct. Okay, we need the actual pitch in which nine holes is going to space itself evenly over this distance. Okay, so add numeric, we'll call it actual pitch and our actual pitch needs to be this length here divided by our list parameters our whole quantity okay which as you can see gives us 141.666 recurring okay so let's finish the sketch let's put a hole in let's make it say 20 mils just so you can see what's going on okay and we can pattern this hole along our path by our hole quantity and our actual pitch okay and you see we're missing one on the end so let's just add another one on and you'll see this now finishes perfectly on the end of our sketch okay so it works if we change the length from 1200 to say 1500 you'll see that we get 11 holes now and our whole pitch or our actual pitch is 143 so it's trying to stay as close to 150 as possible okay but obviously something's got to give but no matter what value we put into here so we can put an odd value in 
you'll see that it will still recalculate and it will always end on this corner nice and evenly for us. So this can be used not just necessarily for patterning holes, but for instance, support legs, just patterning in general. This is exceedingly useful, hence why I teach it to uh, every single one of my delegates. Okay, we can also do some other clever stuff as well. So with our actual length, okay, I might have a parameter called de desired length, okay. So the desired length of this could be 1203, okay. But in reality, we don't want to be making stuff to say 1203. We want it to be 1200 or to the nearest, you know, 10 mil, 25 mil, 50 mil or something like that. Okay, so my desired length is 1203, but my actual length is going to be rounded to the nearest, say, 25 mil. Okay, so how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to make my length equal to my desired length, okay, but I'm going to divide it by whatever number I want to round it to, so 25 mil. Okay, let's put some brackets around that. And then I'm going to actually times it then again by the number I want to round it to. Okay. And then we need to tell it to round up or down to the nearest. So you can see when I do that, my desired length is 1203, but because it's rounding to the nearest 25, it's gone down to 1200. If I put 1238 in, you'll see that the value changes to 1250. Okay. 12.18 and it goes to 12.25. Okay, great. Thanks for watching.